Here we go again. Manchester United have received a boost in their hopes of signing Bayern Munich defender Matthijs de Ligt. The Dutch defender is reportedly unhappy at Bayern after falling down the pecking order under Thomas Tuchel. According to reports, de Ligt is unhappy with his lack of playing time and could push to leave in the summer. United have been strongly linked with the 24-year-old who played under Eric Ten Hag at Ajax in recent weeks. Meanwhile, Manchester United are reportedly interested in signing Brighton's Kaoru Mitoma. Fichajes report that the Red Devils are amongst the clubs monitoring the 26-year-old. However, they face competition from Manchester City and Chelsea, the report adds. On the other side, Frankie de Jong could finally end up in the Premier League this summer. According to Spanish outlet Relevo, the Dutch midfielder is finally open to leaving Barcelona this summer. And the report adds, the Catalans won't stand in his way as they are desperate to raise funds in wake of a financial crisis at the club. A move of around 100 million has been suggested, which could spark a bidding war among Europe's elite, including Manchester United. Elsewhere, Casemiro antics against Aston Villa had fans online claiming he was begging for a blue card. The Manchester United midfielder was animated as he protested against being shown a yellow card at Villa Park. Referee Robert Jones booked the Brazilian during United's 2-1 win for a foul on Villa defender Matty Cash. However, Casemiro was left perplexed by the decision, passionately protesting to the officials. The Brazilian was seen showing an imaginary card to the referee, suggesting Cash should be booked for diving, only to be handed a card himself. He then waved his arms in the air and shook his head repeatedly as he gestured to the referee and his assistant. In addition, Douglas Luiz has explained his bizarre celebration against Manchester United and responded to Rio Ferdinand's taunt. His bizarre chest shimmy after scoring on Sunday confused fans, with Ferdinand later trolling him on social media after United grabbed a late winner. The Red Devils icon shared a snap of the celebration and said, you okay, Douglas Luis? Responding to Ferdinand's post, Luis wrote on X, I'm good thanks, it's just carnival time in Brazil. Again and again. Manchester United were not without fresh injury worries as they beat Aston Villa on Sunday. Eric Ten Hag opted to take Luke Shaw off at halftime due to a fitness concern, which came after a handful of defenders were ruled out of the trip. Lisandro Martinez, Aaron Wan-Bissaka, and Tyrell Malaysia were also unavailable. They joined Mason Mount and Anthony Martial in the treatment room. Here is your latest update of Man United injury news and return dates. So, Luke Shaw. United took Shaw off at halftime with an unspecified injury, which Ten Hag described as a precaution. He gave some messages about complaints, Ten Hag revealed post-match. With Luke Shaw, we know his history with too many injuries and we couldn't go into that risk. It was a very important game, but we can't miss him for six weeks. United will hope he has avoided a fresh spell on the sidelines ahead of him being assessed. His potential return date is Sunday, February 18th, United vs. Luton. Next one is Lisandro Martinez. The Red Devils hope to have Martinez back before the campaign ends after he suffered knee ligament damage against West Ham with a two-month time frame for his return. You see his contribution to the team when he is playing so he brings, apart from his technical skills, also a mentality in the team, Ten Hag said. It is a big setback for Licha. He is very disappointed, but he is a fighter, and he will back. He will be back stronger. We think he will still be back by the end of the season. His potential return date is spring 2024. Next is Tyrell Malasia. Ten Hag had claimed last month that Malasia was being aid for a January return to the United squad after a comeback to training. Yet he said on the weekend that the Dutch left back is simply not ready at this point, having suffered a knee injury last summer, plus a setback in December. His potential return date is unknown. Next one is Aaron Juan Bissaka. Having been labeled a doubt to play at Villa Park after picking up a knock in training on Thursday, Juan Bissaka did not make the team sheet. I don't know in this moment what the diagnosis is, hopefully not too bad, said Ten Hag. His potential return date is February 2024. Anthony Martial. 
United fans may not have seen the last of Martial despite the French striker requiring surgery on a groin injury. A 10-week time frame was given following the procedure late last month, although he had fallen out of favor with his manager anyway ahead of his contract expiring in the summer. His potential return date is April 2024. Mason Mount. Mount's debut season with United has certainly not gone to plan, not least because of a niggling calf injury which was supposedly clearing up last month. However, he has still not made a squad since November, despite being back in training. His potential return date is unknown, again and again. Man United legend Roy Keane has lavished praise on Rasmus Hoyland. The $72 million signing has finally found his scoring boots for the Red Devils and scored at Villa Park. After the game, Keane was asked if he thought Hodgland had begun to deliver. He said, Absolutely. I think the last three or four weeks, of course, a striker needs a few goals to get that confidence, get that belief, and he has got that over the last four or five games. He looks a different player, he looks strong, he looks aggressive, he is taking his chances, he has got that desire to score goals. If you look at him, he is a big, strong boy. Meanwhile, Frankie de Jong could finally end up in the Premier League this summer. According to Spanish outlet Relevo, the Dutch midfielder is finally open to leaving Barcelona this summer. And the report adds, the Catalans won't stand in his way, as they are desperate to raise funds in wake of a financial crisis at the club. A move of around 100 million has been suggested, which could spark a bidding war among Europe's elite, including Man United. Elsewhere, Marshall is set to be offered the chance to return home to France when his Manchester United contract expires this summer. Former club Monaco and Marseille are among those showing interest in the 28-year-old forward, currently out injured. United do not plan to take up a 12-month option to extend his deal. That means that Martial will be a free agent come the summer, while United will release some much-needed space on their wage bill. Martial had hoped to finish his eight-year stay on a high, but is now sidelined until April with a groin problem. Marseille, Fenerbahce and Saudi Arabian clubs all looked at a January move, but his injury ruled a transfer out. The France international joined United in a 44.5 million deal. In the last four injury hit seasons, he has hit just 12 Prem goals in 93 appearances. That tally includes just one goal in 13 Premier League appearances during the current campaign. Across all competitions, Marshall has notched just twice and provided a further two assists. United have already been linked with a potential replacement for the Frenchman. Ten Hag is reportedly eyeing a reunion with Ajax forward Brian Brabby. Limitations brought about by financial fair play FFP rules prevented a January move for the Dutch striker, but the Red Devils could swoop in the summer. Brabby was handed his Ajax debut by Ten Hag in 2020 and has scored 17 goals so far this term.